All right, so it looks like I'm about to be checking out a, another artist for the first time. This is Alana Miles, Black Velvet. Do me a big favor and like the video if you like the video. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know what year. If it was like maybe like the '90s or possibly even the '80s, uh, one of those dirty dancing bar scenes where the women are wearing some tight Jordache jeans or something, and it just feels like that. So I thought this felt familiar. I've heard this chorus before. Maybe it was like on a commercial or, you know, when they used to do greatest hits. But I've never heard this song in its entirety. So this is another one of those tracks that I've definitely felt the presence of but never actually sat down and listened to it. Uh, it's obviously a good enough song that it left an impression on me because I remember the chorus. And obviously to this one, her, her vocals are the star of the show for this for this track. I mean, she can sing. Pretty close, 1989. I thought it felt like 1980s, 1990s, just that weird dress there era, <laughs> you know, um, whatever. And it just had that little dirty bar vibe to it. Uh, but uh, yeah, I like it so far. It's pretty good. See the fog in the background.
definitely had big hair in the video for this, uh, and I'm, I'm willing to bet. Rhythm reminds me of a of a Michael Jackson song. If you The song Black Velvet by Canadian singer-songwriter Alana Miles is a tribute to Elvis Presley. I did not know that, all right? That's, that's pretty dope. The song's co-writer, Christopher Ward, was inspired to write the song after riding a, riding, I'm sorry, after riding a bus with Elvis to Graceland in 1987 for the 10th anniversary visual. Ward was inspired by Presley's distinctive voice, which some described as Black Velvet. Okay, so it makes sense, all right? Miles' demo of the song led to her signing with Atlantic, Red Atlantic Records. Black Velvet was top 10 in Canada and reached number one in the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 in 1990. Miles won both a Grammy and a Juno Award for the song. All right. Yeah, it was uh, an amazing track. Um, and knowing that it had a dedication to Elvis, which is another layer to the cake to how great it was. Okay, now, now the song makes more sense when I listen to it again. And that's the fun thing about discovering new music is that you can live you, you can listen to it again, but look at it through a different a different perspective. And yeah, this was an incredible request. This was a request via the Buy Me a Coffee link. Is this something that I would normally listen to in the Forerunner? No, it's not really my vibe for this particular track. I can recognize how beautiful her voice is, how great the bass line is, how incredible the chorus is, or just how great the song is written in general. But you know, my vibe is my vibe. This is like a chick song to me, to, be, to keep it hunted. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but um, I will be interested in checking out more from her, um, Alana Miles. I like her name. Um, and, and if you guys have suggestions, leave it in the comment section. And um, I'll check it out. I'll see what the consensus is. Do you like the song? You know, did you grow up with it? Let me know in the comment section. If you like honest reactions, like the video. That, tell me, that tells me to put out more content just like this. And you can also... Buy me a coffee in the link below if you want to support the show, as most of these music reactions are not monetized. And you could also uh, subscribe to Patreon, where you can catch content that doesn't make my YouTube channel. All these links will be in the description. I appreciate your time, as your time is very valuable, and hope you have a great day. Peace. <laughs>